Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for the uh, introduction. First, uh, after I successfully managed to show my presentation on full screen, uh, I would like to thank the organizers for um, the efforts they spent to organize this nice event. As you already heard from the uh, introduction, uh, I will going to talk of doxorubicin and its interaction with biopolymers. Uh, in this particular case, the, those polymers are alginates. Um, I will briefly introduce each of the components of the simulated systems, and I will start with the drug which has been uh, on which we have been we were focused search. The drug is uh, doxorubicin, which is a member of uh, anthracycline class of uh, uh, anti-cancer agents. It shows broad spectrum of uh, anti-cancer activity, but there are some troubles using, uh, according to the recent researches, uh, there are some troubles with this drug directly. Uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, as, a, as a drug, uh, it needs some uh, some other, um, let's transporters or some other systems which controls the availability of the drug in the body. And one of the, uh, the um, systems which offer such a such a, uh, dosage of the drug and transport of the drug are nanoparticle system, and uh, in this uh, particular case, uh, the nanoparticle systems are chitosan uh, alginate nanoparticles. They are uh, attractive platform for uh, doxorubicin loading because the those polymers are biocompatible and bi and non-toxic uh, because there are also some uh, some studies for uh, uh, doxorubicin loaded over some uh, other particles uh, even carbon nanotubes or modified uh, uh, mesoporosilicate materials and stuff like that uh, but, uh, here uh, the study is focused on uh, hydrogen alginate nanoparticles well, recent result experimental results show that these uh, Particles loaded with doxorubicin provide uh, better accumulation. Uh, accumulation. Uh, I, do you see the pointer of uh, also? Yep. Okay. Good. Uh, so this uh, this uh, this nanoparticles offer uh, uh, provide better accumulation of uh, of the drug and longer solutions toxic effect of this encapsulated doxorubicin in a study on melanoma cell lines compared to the free drug. And here are also electron microscopy of this of such particles loaded with the, with the doxorubicin. Uh, and so now I go to uh, briefly introduce the, uh, the biopolymers, uh, alginate, al alginates and uh, chitosane. Those uh, two polymers are uh, biodegradable, bioadhesive, they, uh, they are having basically very similar uh, chains. The, their chain is made of uh, um, uh, carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrate rings of uh, pyranose type. The, the, the difference uh, between the, these two type of pairs uh, comes from the functional groups attached to the chains. Uh, in, in the case of alginates, uh, these are uh, uh, carboxylic uh, groups. Uh, which at certain conditions may deprotonate and bring a negatively charged uh, negative uh, charge on the polymer. That's why they are called basically anion. The other side, the, the chitosan has uh, amino groups attached to the uh, uh, pyranose rings. Those uh, amino groups uh, uh, at certain conditions uh, can be protonated and they bear some positive charge on the, on the polymer. The aim of the study was to understand uh, was actually to understand the interaction between the components of this alginate uh, chitosan nanoparticle and doxorubicin drug. In order to achieve the our goal, we performed the molecular dynamics classical molecular dynamics simulation with a force field uh, uh, Gromos type force field uh, specific uh, uh, version. 4A7, which is uh, parameterized for uh, um, 
which uh, is par parameterized in a way that represent better the um, the pyranose conformations of uh, uh, sugars, uh, but also uh, uh, it is uh, parameterized quantum chemical uh, calculations to represent better the functional po uh, the polar functional groups attached to this to the, to the uh, polymer chain. For the long range interaction, for the long range electrostatics and Van der Waals interactions, we applied the particle meshed Ewald algorithm, uh, time step of one frame to second production runs of 100 nanoseconds was analyzed uh, after that. We started with the investigation of the dopamine uh, in water. How does this uh, uh, this drug behaves, and uh, whether uh, there uh, we may see some uh, intermolecular interaction between the molecules of the drug. Uh, for this purpose, we, we, for this purpose, we, um, we started uh, um, MDC from uh, uh, a simple system which contains uh, six uh, um, drug molecules uh, placed randomly in a box. Uh, with then we run uh, the simulation uh, and found actually that at some point uh, uh, some, some small aggregates of dimer or trimer uh, started to uh, to uh, to form, and finally, uh, we found a stable stack of five doxorubicin drug uh, dox molecule, uh, which you can see also here on the large uh, figure. Uh, they, this uh, uh, stack of doxorubicin uh, molecules uh, stabilized by uh, pi pi interaction between the uh, aromatic uh, antiquinone part of the drug in such a way that uh, the polar group of the, in this stack pointing uh, uh, toward the, the solid. This is uh, uh, such that the doxorubicin molecules was observed uh, experimentally in 1984, where the, uh, the, with the with spectroscopy methods was, uh, was uh, estimated also the uh, dimerization constant of uh, doxorubicin uh, molecules. In this particular case, we observed that the stability of this text is governed by the uh, pi pi uh, in, in intermolecular interactions. For the for the biopolymer for alginates, uh, we uh, used uh, oligomers uh, which contains which uh, monosaccharide residues, um, which is shown here on this picture, and uh, we studied several uh, different. The ratio of uh, doxorubicin drug to alginate uh, molecules in the system. Here are some of the uh, some of the results uh, from uh, for the simulation with different uh, doxorubicin to alginate ratio. When we have a, a three to two ratio uh, here uh, on this figure, we observe uh, the uh, um, interaction between the uh, drug and the polymer uh, in a way that. Uh, 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 somehow coordinated to the polymer, and uh, those drugs are uh, spread around the uh, among the. Say they do not see each other; they do not interact each other. This was observed also for a situation where we have a two doxorubicin and one alginate. Uh, uh, but if we increase the amount of doxorubicin. Uh, as uh, in the uh, case of uh, four to three ratio, we already observed the aggregate of doxorubicin, which are surrounded, uh, which are packed, uh, yeah, surrounded, packed by uh, alginate molecules. And when we increase the number of, um, of doxorubicin, uh, it already it starts also to um, to attach to the uh, uh, surface of the alginate molecules already one of the uh, stack of the docs ruby seed. Uh, in this uh, way, we observe this aggregates, aggregate formation of docs ruby scene and the, uh, the uh, arrangement of the docs ruby scene molecule in this aggregate is very similar to the one that we observed in the absence of alginates. In order to clarify or to, to clarify the uh, contribution of the electrostatic interactions between docs ruby scene we extracted from the simulation data the interatomic distances between the uh, between the 
positively charged uh, nitrogen centers in the molecule of doxorubicin and negatively charged carboxyl oxygen center from the molecule of alginate. Uh, here we present the, the results for two systems, four to three uh, ratio doxorubicin to alginate and 12 to three. In systems, uh, we, uh, we observe a fraction of distances in the range of 2.9 to 3.9 angstroms, suggesting close location of the charged centers. And from here, we may conclude that the electrostatic interactions due to uh, the binding uh, of doxorubicin to alginates. He, uh, from, uh, from those plots um, and the system with the four doxorubicin molecule, uh, well, the area above the, uh, which is uh, shown by the dashed line, this is the integral of the radial distribution functions, shows that uh, um, bet uh, it shows that between two and three of the drug molecules uh, are interact with the uh, electrostatically with the alginate, while for the higher doxorubicin uh, amount, uh, the, in, the in, uh, amount of those groups increases to five. And uh, um, this type of uh, um, electrostatic interaction also is uh, consistent with the observation of uh, decrease of the negative zeta potential of nanoparticles, uh, alginate nanoparticles loaded with doxorubicin and this uh, uh, decrease of the zeta potential is about th uh, 33% when the nanoparticle is lo loaded by doxorubicin. Uh, we also check uh, uh, whether the uh, uh, sol uh, solvent accessible surface area of uh, doxorubicin changes when it is uh, uh, together with alginate or, uh, or uh, without alginate in the, in the water environment. Uh, in, this, uh, in this slide here uh, is shown the, okay, for this uh, rearrangement here, but uh, on uh, on the uh, y-axis is shown the uh, solvent accessible surface area with uh, of uh, a system containing twelve uh, doxorubicin uh, molecules in the water uh, with a blue line, and one can see that upon stacking, this uh, surface area accessible surface area are decreasing, and at some point when the stacks are stable, it uh, remains con remain constant remains constant. Well, in the case of, in the case of uh, uh, a system of doxorubicin with alginate, we observe that due to the additional uh, packing of the doxorubicin by alginate, the accessible surface area of doxorubicin from the water uh, further decrease. And uh, this system looks uh, uh, like that here in the middle uh, with, the, with the green sticks, uh, with the green, the green wire. Uh, are shown the doxo st stacks of doxorubicin, which are uh, surrounded by uh, the alginate molecule, uh, alginate oligomers. Uh, to simulate uh, the system uh, with all its uh, uh, components, uh, we uh, also added the chitosan uh, to the simulation box, and simulated we simulate a system which contains three alginate uh, oligomers, six uh, uh, chitosan oligomers six doxorubicin uh, molecules randomly distributed in a box to see whether the chitosan or uh, there will be some competition between chitosan and uh, doxorubicin uh, in the binding to uh, alginase because, uh, uh, because of the uh, electrostatic. It turns out that uh, uh, after uh, the pro uh, during the production run of the simulation, we observe a stable uh, state where uh, doxorubicin stacked by uh, doxorubicin molecule represented in red color here are stacked together and uh, packed by uh, alginate molecules, uh, alginate oligomers. Uh, the difference is that chitosan molecule, uh, chitosan oligomers uh, stays on the, uh, on, uh, uh, on the, let's, the surface of the stack and uh, actually they bind to the unsaturated by doxorubicin uh, negatively charged uh, carboxyl, carboxyl uh, uh, groups and uh, and uh, and they uh, they actually do not uh, mix together with the with the doxorubicin to form uh, 
the cluster which is surrounded by alginates. Um, the analysis of the stack size, uh, size of the stack in this simulation, uh, after uh, let's say 15 nanoseconds of this simulation, we have a, a stable stack of all molecules uh, in the system. While uh, the uh, only the doxorubicin molecule is, uh, uh, in, uh, I mean, it uh, uh, increases starting from the, in the beginning. Uh, there is a stack of two doxorubicin molecule increases to four, then stays stable to five, and with some uh, fluctuation to six uh, uh, molecules of, of the doxorubicin, which means that uh, the doxorubicin molecule stacks together and they are surrounded by the other by the biopolymers. And uh, if this is for the charged groups, we observe much larger amount of close uh, uh, close contacts between positively charged. Uh, uh, protonate amino groups and uh, carboxylic groups from the alginates and from doxorubicin and chitosan as well. Conclusion, I will uh, say that doxorubicin uh, form clusters which are stabilized by pi pi interactions and these are packed by alginate molecule, mainly uh, oligomers, mainly due to electrostatic interactions via charged uh, groups in both polymers. The chitosan interacts with alginate and compensate negatively negative charge of the uh, carboxylic groups in the in the alginates, and uh, the uh, mainly electrostatic interaction between the components, the stability of the doxorubicin and alginate complex uh, depend on the uh, change of the pH and uh, the uh, here as we can see uh, the result from uh, doxorubicin release from such nanoparticle in different uh, in a different P pH value shows that indeed at uh, at lower pH, where the uh, uh, the increase the um, release doxorubicin is is uh, amount of robicin, doxorubicin is larger, neutral pH where the interaction uh, between the charged group is much stronger. Uh, okay, that was all what I wanted. Uh, to share with you and uh, thank you for your kind attention. Thank you to Professor Apitkov for the very informative and interesting lecture. Uh, till now, I can't see any question in the chat, but please feel if uh, you have any questions, now is the moment to uh, tell them and share the opinion. So now I see a question from Professor Ivanova. Uh, did you observe uh, dissociation of molecules from the formed clusters? Uh, for the time of the simulation we, we have performed, we, we saw a table stack of uh, five, uh, five to six uh, uh, doxorubicins in the cluster. And uh, for this, uh, our uh, cluster we didn't observe dissociation for the larger which are for the larger system where we have a 12 docs will be seen in the box we observe several clusters not one cluster of uh, 12 docs will be seen molecules so there is definitely some uh, size dependence of the cluster with respect to the number of uh, docs uh, or of the docs will be seen molecules but we didn't study in, in, in detail of this process thank you Any other questions? I don't see any others. So uh, thank you to uh, Professor Petkov for his present. We can yeah. proceed with the next coming, although we have some more minutes.